So in today's video, I'm going to show you three ways on how to share only one tab or certain tabs in a Google Sheet. So the quickest method is to simply right click on a tab, copy to new spreadsheet, or you could do existing if you want to copy it to an existing spreadsheet. We'll go do new for now, then open spreadsheet. And there is that tab with the data. Now, why would we use a different method? Well, first of all, this data is not tied to or related to this data any longer. And so, for example, we change the sales rep here to Wayne. If we go to our new one, this is not changed because this is completely separate data. So one reason we might need a different method is if we want this data to remain synced to our original spreadsheet. Now on this sheet, I have three different tabs and I use just a simple query formula to pull the data for each sales rep. So for example, here we have Katie, Daniel, and Wayne, each using their specific formula there. So one thing to keep in mind is if our data is populated by a formula and we do copy to new spreadsheet, when we go to the spreadsheet, we see we have an error because it can't resolve this formula because there's no sales data sheet on this new spreadsheet. So what we're gonna have to do in this case is a import range. So we can do import range and then what we need is the URL. So we can either take this whole piece from before this forward slash before the edit, so this part, or we can do just this part between these two forward slashes. So this is the ID right here. So either or, if the URL makes more sense to you, go with it, otherwise you can use this shorter one. And then inside double quotes, we're gonna put that, and then comma, and then here you can see this little helper. So there's the URL or the ID, and then the range string. And so in this case, we can either use Katie as the tab name and then specify, you know, A2 to D. Or if you have a table, you can use just the table. And so I'm going to show you both ways real quick. So let's start with the table reference. So Katie. So one thing you're going to have to do is allow access. And so this is one thing as we get into the different methods is a lot of this is about what access do you want them to have. And so we can share this with whoever we want, right? So we can call this. Katie's. So we can share it. It's so one thing to keep in mind is we just give them view access like this. They're not going to be able to edit or change anything. And one thing that doesn't work as well is like, for example, if you want them to be able to filter, if you want them to be able to filter, then you will have to give them edit access. And so why is that a deal? So if they have edit access, they could come in here to this formula and maybe they know the name of one of the other sales reps. They could maybe guess, right? Another thing they could do is if they potentially know, maybe you have a tab named sales. So if you have sensitive data on this spreadsheet, one disadvantage of giving edit access where you have this import range is potentially they could access different tabs. So one way you can get around that is make sure they only have view access. And if you're wondering, well, what happens if they just make a copy? Well, first of all, you could disable that and have a different video on that. But if they make a copy, if they don't have access to the original, then if they try to do that where we had that ref and authorize, they won't be able to authorize because they don't have access. So if you can keep it to just view access for them, if they don't need to edit or change anything or filter anything on their sheet, then just keep them as a viewer and then you avoid all those issues. But if you need them to be able to filter or if you have other tabs on that sheet that you want them to be able to access, then how do we do this? So this comes to our third method. So let's go ahead and delete this real now. So our third method, we need a intermediary sheet. So this import range referencing the original is right here, right? So instead of trying to manage this, so I've done things in the past where you protect this and all this, but eventually what they can do is if they can basically make a copy, then they can go view this and then they can just make a new tab and do this. So the safest way to get around this is basically make a whole new sheet. And so I'm going to make a copy. And then what we'll do is if this is the only data you need from the main sheet, then you can do this, but you could have multiple, right? So if you have 
KD sheet, maybe you have some other data, you could pull over multiple tabs into this sheet. Now this one, you do not want to share. So make sure this one's restricted. And then pull all the data you need to on here for them. And then on Katie's copy, this is the one that you're gonna actually share with them. You're gonna go from this intermediary sheet. So make sure on this sheet, the only thing on here is what they can access. So this works whether you're talking about a salesperson on your team or whether you're talking about a client. And this is a way to block them from accessing anything you don't want them to. And so this one, we call it Katie here. This is Wayne. So let me just align these real quick. Make sure we have the correct data. So Katie and Katie. So here I can go to Katie. And there we go. So one thing I want to show you real quick is if you don't want to use the table name, you can use the tab name. And so let's just call this. And so then I can even just rename, copy this and bring this over. And so over here, I can do KD sales and then do A2 through D. And you can see, I see the same thing. So you can use the name of the tab a exclamation point, and then the range of cells. So starting at the upper left and then going over and you don't need an F reference. You can if you want to, but you don't need to. And this makes it dynamic. So it'll keep updating even if you add new rows on this original. All right, so we have Katie's copy all the way over here on hers. And so this is the one that you would share with her. This one needs to remain restricted. And then of course, this one, you also do not want her to have access to either. But this provides the barrier between the end copy and your master data because you may have sensitive data in here that you do not want to share. All right, so let's finish up by showing you how this will update all the way through. So here we have this person here. Let's say we spelled it incorrectly. It was Kember. So it's going to flow through to here. You can just see updated. Go to the final copy. You can just see updated. And so now whatever you do on this sheet, let's say we add a new one. So Eddie, this should show up here in a second. And there we go. So now you can see now we have whatever data is here is reflecting all the way through to this one. But this person has no way to access the original data. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this is helpful for you. And then check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.